Substack tutorial, a beginner's guide to creating and managing newsletters. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Substack tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can create your own newsletter and get started. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to simply go to substack.com and you will land on this website right here. The website is pretty easy to use and a simple looking website here and you need to actually sign up for the website. You can click on sign up or sign in and you can do that using your email address or your google account so after signing up now you can see we have the start publishing option at the top uh, substack is uh, used by creators and resources as well for creators you have a lot of different options for example switch to substack go paid uh, grow your audience for videos podcast blogger for food writers and more so if you are looking for a platform to create your newsletter or even your first newsletter, you can use Substack. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to simply go ahead and click on start publishing. And let me show you how we create a uh, you know newsletter. After the initial setup, you will get right here. Now you can see this is my dashboard for the Substack. We have home, post, subscribers, stats, podcast, chat, recommendation, settings, and more. So I'm going to go to home here and we're going to create our first uh, post. You can also view your site that you have created. You can see we actually get a substack.com. We get our own domain uh, with our newsletter. So uh, we're going to actually go and visit the website very quickly. Let me show you. So you can see the website is pretty basic. Uh, here we can see like the, uh, you know, coming soon and then we can see a description and then we can see the subscribed options if someone subscribes to your newsletter they, they will see something like this we're going to go back to our you know main dashboard and we're going to click on new post now with the post you can go for a text post a video post audio post new note or chat right so let's create a text post first click on text post and now it will allow you to add a uh, you know referral button as well or you can just say not now and then we're going to add a email header or footer to our newsletter here too. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all do that. So uh, we need to add a banner image for the newsletter and we can even add an email footer. Uh, for the banner image, you could just click on upload and you will upload the image here. Then we have the header for all posts. So if you want your header to stay the same for all of your posts for, for your brand or for your blog, then you can actually do that here. Uh, so for now, let's say that I will just go for maybe Sarah's new. So we're going to click on save. And now this is going to be my header for all of my newsletters. We can also upload an image. And at the bottom here, we have the footer that will allow me to, to check out the footer here. You can see this is what it says for now, but I can click on edit and I can edit the footer completely according to my taste, whatever I want to add. If you want to add some socials to your uh, you know footer you want to add an image maybe a video maybe a code maybe a button you can do that i'm going to actually go ahead and add uh, you know share post option at the bottom in the footer so i'm going to click on share and then we can add one more button which is going to be actually subscribe again so that people can be reminded again when they're at the end that they need to subscribe click on save and now you can see we have our footer ready once you have your uh, your header and footer ready now you can create your posts very easily so i'm going to go back to our home we were creating a post so i'm just going to go back to text post here and now you can see we have our title so this newsletter is maybe like let's say that related to the new leads or something like that we have actually our fashion and maybe like style newsletters so let's say that i'll just go for that i'm just gonna say fashion test newsletter for the purpose of the video and then we can add a subtitle so for the subtitle maybe i want to add a text like everything you need to know about fashion okay perfect so this is actually kind of like a blog type of newsletter perfect and then i can add more people here we can actually add a guest writer or we can add a collaboration here. So for that, all you have to do is just enter their email address. Let's say I wanted to actually invite Alex Harvey. And what we're going to do is we're going to add her email address and she will be invited here. Click on done and then the invitation has been sent and it's pending for now, but later they will be added right here. 
now I can start writing with writing. If you write yourself, you can just simply start writing here. Of course, if you want to, uh, you know, use an AI to write, if you have another platform, you're using it for uh, in the documents first, and you have that, you can copy and paste as well. Um, so for now, let's say that I I am writing my newsletter and we can say fashion and this and then we can add like different headings we can make the text bold let me actually go ahead and grab the uh, you know article here and then we will continue so i have written my newsletter right here you can see now i can make the text bold if i want to so uh, for example if i want to make like this text bold i can do that and we can edit uh, you know our newsletter here a bit so we can edit it, we can make it italic, we can actually add photos as well, we can add audio and video too. Audio and video option is actually one of the options that I really like within our, you know, sub -sag. So uh, now once you've written it, you can actually click on settings and you can do different settings for your, uh, you know, um, article that you've created, the newsletter that you have just created. So we have audience, so you can go for everyone, or you can also go for the paid audience. You can go for the comments if you want to allow the comments or not. If you want to order the comments according to you know, newest or latest, you can add different tags as well. So for example, the tag I want to add is new. Then we can add another tag, which is because this one is fashion related add fashion. Um, then we're gonna add another tag, which is going to be trends because this one is related to the trends. So this will help me kind of like manage my newsletter better. Um, then we have our draft link. So I can copy this link and now I can paste this link anywhere I want to. Uh, this is the preview of our social preview of our newsletter here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload an image very quickly so that uh, it will be added with the newsletter. So you can upload an image here. And then we have SEO option. Now, these are some of the important options for the, you know, search purposes. We have the title, we have the description, and this is the, the link. So here I can, of course, check out how this is going to be, you know, good for my uh, search and how it's going to be good for the SEO. Now, once you've done all of the settings, you can just close it. And this is where your newsletter is. Before we continue, I'm going to click on preview and it will show me a preview of my newsletter that how it will look like. You can see this is the mobile preview. We can switch to the desktop preview as well. And you can see this is my Substack um, newsletter here. Okay, perfect. Uh, fashion test newsletter, and this is the newsletter at the bottom. Best, uh, this is this is perfect. Now I'm gonna click on done, and after that we're gonna click on continue. Here it will take you again to the settings that we have already done, and now we have sent to everyone. Now, if I send to everyone now, then it will be sent. The newsletter, the, the email will be sent, and I can we even check the preview. That's what it will look like. So I'm gonna just click on send to everyone, and it will be published. We're going to add the subscribe button too. And there you go. Now we have our newsletter ready. You can see this is the newsletter that we just sent to everybody. After creating a newsletter, now I can similarly create a video post. So the process is going to be similar. You click on add new. And this time you record a video or you select a file. With the video as well, you can add the title, you can add the text, and you can add the you know text too. We can add buttons, of course. Click on button and you can add any kind of button here. Then we have more where you can add the dividers, the uh, footnotes and poetry, poll or more. So let's say that I wanted to add a divider so I could add a divider between my text and my video as well. We can even add a footnote. We can add a financial chart here. We can add poetry or polls too. With the polls, it's actually an interactive way for our customers to kind of like interact with the newsletter too. So you can do that here. Um, and then uh, this way our subscribers can actually interact with us. So uh, then we can also create like a, an audio post. The process is going to be similar. And now we even have a new note or new chat thread that is a small text that you can send to your subscribers. So now if I go to visit site, you'll be able to see it, it also has the you know um, newsletter that we just created. Now, after that, we have the posts here. It will show me all the posts that we have already created, the drafts and the scheduled as well. Then we have the subscribers. This is where I will be able to see all of my subscribers and even invite more people or add. So to add a subscriber, you just click on add. And this is where you enter their email address and the people who subscribe through your newsletter will be added here. Then we have the stats. Now with the stats, what happens is I'll be able to see my audience, my pledges, sharing, traffic, email, service, 
This is all the analytics that I need to know about the uh, you know, newsletter that I have created. We also have a podcast option within the Substack now. You don't need to, to use another platform for the podcast. So click on create podcast and you can create one, you can create a new section and you can also add it in the Substack too. So I'm just gonna add it in here, click on continue and we can start a new one or we can add an existing podcast as well. Then we have the chat option. This is where I will be able to chat with my subscribers, with my team members as well. It's a space that we create and it is also, uh, you can also keep it paid only. So this is actually a way to kind of like make money. With Substack, of course, we can make money uh, with through newsletter and through our subscribers. And this way you'll be able to uh, not only, uh, you know, share your views or, or your newsletter or gain subscribers, but also make money. Using Substack is really easy. You can go ahead and start creating your newsletters right now. I hope this video was a big help to you. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.